I think Owensboro, to some folks, is a little bit of undiscovered land. But I think when people do learn about Owensboro and what there is here to offer, especially from a cultural tourism standpoint, I think the word authenticity comes to mind. When you think about bluegrass, when you think about bourbon, when you think about barbecue, these are some things that are really baked into our culture. And I feel like this is a time where we're just really living that out really well. It was a long time coming. Uh, it a long time as far as Owensboro and bluegrass music deserves a, an Americana music tribute like this um, and a place to show off our history, our roots, and all the great things that Kentucky Owensboro bluegrass music contributed to the world. Bluegrass music deserves this. The grace of bluegrass, I can look on the wall and see their photos and and for me, you know, it just harkens back to a wonderful time as I was growing up and loving their music and I still love the masters of bluegrass music. What we wanted to do is create an experience that is unique. It's already unique in the fact that this is the only cultural center dedicated solely to bluegrass music. This is our opportunity to make this a very unique attraction. So we have twice the exhibit space. So we had the luxury of telling the story in kind of unique, compelling ways and updating how we tell that story. But then one of the things that I think is really a big change from our former location is that the building is designed so that folks can experience the music behind the exhibits. Live bluegrass music, I think, really energizes everything that we do. Bluegrass is one of those unique genres where just about everyone who participates, even though they're doing their own thing, they really do like to honor the roots of, that, of the music. And so that just plays into our mission perfectly. To see how far we are today compared to what it was 30 plus years ago because we had no home, we had no representation at all. And it's just uh, by the good fortune of, of the Almighty that we all, all this came about at about the same time. The city of Owensboro, uh, from the get-go, have, uh, have been the strongest ally for our music that we've ever had. You know, they, they, they are truly genuine in their outpouring of affection for, for the music and, and the artists. Internationally, bluegrass is such a huge draw. With the Bluegrass Museum, Owensboro can truly be an international mecca uh, and a major attraction for international visitors because they are very in tune with bluegrass. Bluegrass is something they grew up with, something that is true Americana and they want to experience it. And I believe international visitors a lot of times know more about bluegrass and appreciate it more than we do ourselves. There are just so many things to do here in Owensboro, and so what we want to do is, is partner and be a part of that. I think we can be a differentiator um, in some ways because this is the only Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum. It's here in Owensboro. I mean, we are to this genre what the Country Music Hall of Fame is to country music in Nashville, but I think it all dovetails really well together, and so we're thrilled to be working with the downtown hotels to bundle ticket packages. We've only had a handful of concerts since we've only been open a short time and people have told me, hey, we were coming down from Louisville or coming up from Nashville and we saw we could bundle a hotel, so we're staying right downtown. And I think that's exactly what we want. I mean, that's the plan really at work. And so we want to really do our part in that, try to create some energy for, for everything else that's going on downtown. Congratulations, Owensboro. You've done a wonderful job and you've given bluegrass music a home for a museum, well-deserved. Thank you.